We're here at NAB 2019 at the B&H booth with my friend Ryan from Rode. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Thanks, thanks so for coming much. by. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. So we have some exciting things here. My audience is dying to hear about the Wireless Go. Right on. So I have in this very small pouch here yeah. the Rode Wireless Go. It is the smallest professional belt pack transmitter receiver wireless system available. Uh, it operates in the 2.4 gigahertz open license free spectrum. So it works in any country basically. Any country you yeah. can use it. Okay. And being a digital system in the 2.4 gigahertz range, it's actually a frequency agile system. So what it does is it automatically transmits on the best frequency. It's not like a traditional wireless system where you have to select your frequency, transmit on that one, and if somebody else bumps into your frequency, you have problems. This is constantly finding the best frequency and transmitting with a rock solid connection so that you always have crystal clear audio without having to mess about with your wireless settings. Excellent, okay. And they're tiny. I mean, these things are yeah. tiny. They weigh 31 grams. They're so small, and they have an inbuilt lithium battery okay. that's going to give you up to seven hours of use on a single charge. You charge them over USB-C. It comes in the kit with two USB-C to A cables, so you can just plug them into your computer or charge into at the a same time. battery pack. Can... One after the other. Exactly. You can charge time. them at the same time. It takes about two hours for a full charge, okay. and as I said, you get seven hours of use out of that. Great. Now you can also power them constantly. Excellent. So, so if I have a longer shoot, yeah. and I and I so during lunch I could get the transmitter recharged yeah. and have that plugged in, the receiver plugged in the entire time. Exactly right. Lunch. Yeah. Okay. So even if you have a little, you know, kind of battery pack under your camera or something like that, you can just run them, constant power, you don't even have to worry about Excellent. charging the batteries okay. then. Now on the transmitter itself, it's such a small transmitter that we decided to add a lav mic in the transmitter. And I'm actually wearing one right now. We have some audio piping yeah. to the camera so that you guys can hear what it sounds like. So it's an omnidirectional lav, just like you would okay. find with our our filmmaker lab or, or a, a traditional lavalier traditional microphone yeah. but you can also plug in a traditional wired lav okay standard trs jack on top 3.5 mil you can plug that in and use it as the tiniest belt pack transmitter you've ever seen yeah absolutely like even the pro systems don't have transmitters that small no exactly see. right and yeah. if you're doing a creative shoot where you know it's a, a fictional piece of content or something where you don't want to see any labs okay. you don't want to see any microphones at all right. this is the system to use to be able to hide it very easily under clothing and things Excellent. like that so Excellent. and that's a standard trs so pretty much almost all lot of their microphones with 3.5 trs exactly okay. yep it provides right. plug-in power so it'll power them up you can even use this with a microphone like the rode video micro for instance if you wanted to have a little wireless rig set up on a table you know for a shoot if you wanted to have something hidden behind a pop plant or yep. something yep. It, it makes it really versatile for doing any kind of on-the-go shooting okay. and the nicest thing is that you don't have to do that whole dance of dropping a you know transmitter pack down someone's shirt yeah. and wiring up the lab especially for shows like this where you want to do interviews really quickly yep. you literally just walk up clip it onto their lanyard or onto their shirt like yep. this and you're ready to record yeah. so Excellent. it's Excellent. really really cool for that right. in the pack you get the output cable as well as the two USB-C charge cables you get the output cable to work with your camera okay. and the design of the receiver is actually really clever because this has a little clip on the back that's designed for your sound bag to clip it on okay. but then you can also use this to clip directly into the cold shoe of your camera or your ah, rig okay. so it's a perfect dimensions for a cold shoe no additional accessories just slide it right in exactly right okay. so you just plug out of the 3.5 mil output on the side you plug in your sc2 cable that goes into your camera yep. slide it onto the shoe mount and away you go you're ready to record okay. you've got a bunch of accessories available you can get the sc7 patch cable from rode and then you can use that cable to be able to plug into a mobile rig. So in the cabinet here we have a beast grip rig with the uh, standard dongle that comes with your iPhone to plug in a 3.5 accessory, right. SE7 patch cable, and then you're ready to go with a mobile rig. Okay. It's so lightweight that you can pop it on top of rigs that are using gimbals, where okay. traditionally you would unbalance your gimbal if you had something that was moving around with a suspension mount. Yep. This thing is so lightweight you can pop it straight on there. And you've also got some output gain settings. So Excellent. on the back, you press critical, a little decibel button. Actually. <laughs> Absolutely. If you don't have the output gain control, then depending on the camera that you're using, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So you can set uh, from the zero dB unity gain level, yep. and then you can go minus six or minus 12. So okay. you can match the sensitivity of the output of this to the input sensitivity on your camera. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So now, there you have it. Um, so there, there, there is a very nice, uh, it looks like an OLED screen here yes. as well. So you have a full readout. You have the battery status of both the transmitter and receiver. Yes. It's got a nice level meter. It actually looks pretty detailed. Which yeah, is great. totally. Yeah, you can see, so, you know, like it's segmented really well. It's not just like a one, two, three segment right, system. Right. You can really see the detail in the metering. You can also see the output level and you can see the link status as well. Okay. Now, pairing the units is so simple. If you've got more than one system and yep. you've happened to pull out, you know, a different transmitter and receiver, 
than what was paired out of the box. Now they do come paired out of the box, so you just turn them on, they work. Okay. But otherwise you can press and hold the pairing button okay. and then you just tap the power button on your transmitter that you want to use and within two seconds it's paired up and it's okay. going to be locked to that unit Excellent. for the rest of the time. Excellent. So Excellent. it also comes with a couple of windshields so that if you're in a really high wind environment, you can actually pop a windshield directly onto the transmitter lap. Okay. So you can see this little fur windshield here, yep. it clips on the top into these little divots that you can see and then you've got your system so that you can go in high wind. Excellent. Now in the average kind of breezy environment, you're going to be absolutely fine just using the transmitter like this. Yep. Even in the launch video that you see, we have an outside scene yep. uh, for the product features video. You can see some wind moving the trees around yep. and there's absolutely no effect on the audio for this unit because yep. it's actually quite good at rejecting wind yep. already. Just based on the way it kind of hooks on it. Yeah, totally. It's or, it's like or, using, you know, uh, for instance, the Rode Invisilove where it'll, right. it'll suspend, you know, the lav between a shirt and right. stand it off from the fabric and that kind of thing. You've basically got one of those units by using this. You're you're separating the lab from the clothing, yep. you're immobilizing the shirt, all that kind of thing. So it's all Excellent. kind of inbuilt that actually works really well. Excellent. So a question that came up too from the audience was, what about latency? Yeah, so okay, we so, so we're looking at... Time digital, yeah. there's always going to be a little yeah. bit of latency. We're looking at less than six milliseconds of latency. Okay, it's fantastic. That's, it's so fast. Yeah, that's way less than, a, I mean, it's just a tiny fraction of a frame, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah, a very small fraction of a frame. You will never see that on video. That's yeah. not something that you would ever perceive. Excellent. I mean, 50 milliseconds is a human perception for latency, so it's, it's well below that. Okay, so, excellent. Yeah. Battery life, what are we looking at again? So battery life, you're getting up to seven hours on a charge. Okay. Range, you're getting up to 70 meters, so okay. 200 feet line of sight yep. um, and if you're in a very kind of dense environment with lots of like a trade show this is like the worst this. possible environment that you could ever use yeah. wireless systems yeah. you have reduced range but you just keep your line of sight and then it actually hops very quickly between frequencies so this system is actually really solid in trade show environments like this where you've got a lot of frequencies flying around so yeah. Yeah. so as long as you keep line of sight pretty close yeah exactly yeah, right I was running a professional wireless system last yep. year yesterday digital um, but you, you transmit over UHF frequencies yeah. and we just basically gave up. Like, I can't make this work in the time that I have. Yeah. So. Yeah. You've got companies here that are showing off so many different wireless video transmission systems, audio yeah. transmission systems. So in these kind of environments, it's really hard to get good audio. Yeah. Yeah. But as you can hear right now, we've got the, the wireless go, the smallest of all of those packs, right. working right. rock solid. So. Excellent. All right. What else do we need to know about this? Right, it's shipping right now, okay. and you can get it for $1.99. You can pre-order online right now at a lot of our dealers, right. uh, and $1.99, check out the B&H site, it's okay. available right now. Okay. Excellent. Ryan, thanks so much. No worries. Thanks so much right. for coming by. Take care.